Hey guys, today we're gonna review uh, M2 NVMe SSD L external enclosure from Orico. Uh, this enclosure will be helpful for you if you need, for example, some external SSD and you already have uh, M.2 SSD, some extra M.2 SSD which uh, you want to put in external enclosure and use it like a external SSD. Uh, this Orico brand is Chinese brand, uh, which is very high quality. I've already reviewed uh, SATA HD, HDD two bay enclosure for two uh, hard drives or two SSDs, 2.5 inches with a RAID function support. You can check it uh, by the link in the video description or up here in the right top corner. And today we will unbox this thing and just check how it works, check uh, the speeds, uh, compare it speeds of uh, this enclosure with external connection to PC and make our conclusion. Uh, as to begin, I want to mention, as always, with this kind of things, you have some options to choose from different versions. So I have enclosure for NVMe SSDs with uh, 10 gigabits per second maximum speed. You also can buy one with a support for SATA uh, SSDs and in that case uh, it it will be not compatible with NVMe SSDs so keep that in mind and also you have more expensive version of this one with 20 gigabit per second uh, speed support and in that case you will have uh, full aluminum body here but only uh, as I mentioned NVMe support so two versions 10 uh, gigabits per second or 20 gigabits per second for NVMe SSDs like this one Samsung uh, 980 and one version for SATA more uh, outdated SSDs with SATA protocol just let's open this thing up uh, I received the package a little bit uh, damaged jammed but that's no big deal I think inside is everything is okay here have nothing enclosure itself let's put it aside and come back to it in a minute here we have one SATA no excuse me USB-C to USB-C cable it's a short one it's approximately uh, 15 centimeters here put it aside usual USB-C to USB-A cable here but I think with this one you will not achieve 10 gigabits per second speed but we have to check it out later uh, some as usually some paperwork you have here manual how to install SSD inside some warranty and by the way in English in Chinese if someone in that and thermal pad here and some SSD fixing mounts some plastic screws as you can see and small screwdriver as the enclosure itself this part is made from plastic yep and top cover with some heat dissipation ribs is made from aluminium but I will say one more time that in 20 gigabits per second version you will get full aluminium body so this part will be also made from aluminium let's open the sub things up it's a torque screw I'm not sure if you can see it here but this screwdriver fits it perfectly and just slide it here yes this one metal plastic uh, here we have the plate itself mounting plate for M2 SSD uh, this enclosure supports from SSD size from 20 to 30 to 20 to 80. We have here four mounting holes for SSD with different size. And here we have Samsung uh, 980 with 20 to 80 size. We just put it here. Then we have to use those mounting screws. I'm not sure why that is there two of them in the package I think one extra if you were lost that one so you just simply put this plastic clip here inside hole you need 
for your SSD. Yes, like this. Put here. Just slide a little bit further down and then just close it like this. Maybe no, I don't think that it's necessary to put it other side. USB C port. Here just simple as that simple plate. Here is real tech controller. If someone is interested which controller this plate use. I will put text in description. Then we put it back in our enclosure. It's a little bit of lifts inside. Then just close this. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Slide here and screw it back. Yep. No, I'm not sure. That, no, I think I'm done it wrong. Oops. Why is that? Yes. You have to put some ex small extra little bit force here to make it right. Yeah. Now it goes. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, it's about 9-10 centimeters long, small and compact SSD. You can hear that plate, um, uh, the PCB with the SSD inside a little bit goes here and there, but I think it's no problem. I didn't put this pad, but if you put this pad, I think everything will gonna be alright. And put it cable and just let's connect it to PC. I have on my motherboard uh, USB-C 3.2 generation to 20 gigabits per second port, so there will be no bottleneck in here. And this SSD can uh, give you a speed uh, at about 3050 megabytes per second read, so bottlenecking will be only the uh, speed of this interface in 10 gigabits per second. And by the way, uh, this one supports only PCI, PCI Express 3.0, so if you put uh, PCI Express 4.0 SSD here, you will uh, get it's backwards compatible, but you will get speed only in 10 gigabits per second, as usual. So let's jump right into the test now. So here are results of our tests. As expected, the highest speed uh, we re uh, was reached in the USB 3. 0.2 type C connection or by the way sorry for the mistake I confused you and myself a little bit with all of those USB versions so I said that uh, 10 gigabits per second you can achieve only using uh, USB C to USB C cable but it's not true you can achieve it also using USB C to uh, USB type A cable because I will put some uh, ta uh, table with the USB C USB sorry versions explanation. So uh, basically, uh, first as you remember was 3.0 uh, USB version. It was only 5 gigabits per second. Later, it uh, renamed to USB 3.1 uh, Gen 1. It was 5 gigabits per second, and later on, USB 3.1 Gen 2. It was uh, 10 gigabits per second. So here on the package. We can see that it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type C, uh, but uh, there is uh, now the naming was also changed to USB 3.2 uh, Gen 1 is 5 gigabits per second, and it supports in uh, USB C and both uh, Type A Type C form factors. USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2 uh, X. One yes, is uh, I remember correctly. It's 10 gigabits per second, and it also supports in USB Type A connection. But USB 3.2 Gen 2 to X2 with 20 gigabits per second speed, which uh, this enclosure does not support. The other version supports that. It's supported only in USB C to USB C connection. So sorry for that. If you're interested in this, you can just read about uh, USB uh, versions and also there is now 
uh, USB 4.0 version so it's uh, so many numbers it's a little bit confusing but uh, let's get back to our glossier what I can say about this it's very convenient it's small compact thing if you have extra external if you have extra M2 uh, SSD you can put it here and use it as your external storage for fast copying files it is definitely faster than all the external uh, hard disk drives even with a 3.1 uh, 3.0 connection you can achieve up to 500 megabits per second speed which is very good uh, and you don't need to buy those pre-built external SSDs like Samsung T T5, T7 if, if you have some extra SSD you can put it here and use it as you wish so this brand Orica I am not disappointed in this because I have uh, a lot of products from this brand before uh, and I think this thing will serve me a lot of the time and I will be quite happy with it in the future if you are interested in buying this product you can check the link in the video description to the Aliexpress page Aliexpress page of this uh, enclosure and there you will find three versions I've talked about for SATA SSDs uh, for 10 gigabits per second and VME SSDs and 20 gigabits per second depending on your needs and uh, which SSD you will use uh, and it, it also depends on the capabilities of your PC of your mother motherboard if your motherboard uh, doesn't have a 20 gigabits per second uh, USB C port there is no point to pay twice for the 20 gigabits per second version of this enclosure because my motherboard has only one uh, 20 gigabits USB C port on the back panel and uh, on the front panel of my computer case I have only USB C uh, 3.1 Gen 2 with 10 gigabits per second but my motherboard internal uh, USB-C connection is limited only to 5 gigabits per second so if I will connect this one to the front uh, USB-C port on my computer case I will get only 5 gigabits per second but when I connect it to the rear panel of my motherboard then I will get uh, 10 gigabits per second but anyway it's a lot of confusing numbers you have to remember that this one is fast quite convenient <laughs> obviously quite no moving parts and I have to say even if uh, this uh, case is plastic on the bottom and aluminium on the top cover uh, it doesn't warm so much it stays pretty much cold with the ambient temperature in my room in 21 degrees celsius it, uh, during the test this one was quite cold so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please hit that like button and su subscribe to my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video